Good afternoon. The Prime Minister is heading to Brussels to seek a further delay to Brexit. Earlier today, Theresa May faced Prime Minister's questions. The SNP accused her of trying to make a backroom deal on Brexit with Labour and urged her to accept a long extension and hold a people's vote. In her final days as Prime Minister, will she accept the EU offer of a long extension, accept that she has run out of road, and accept that the only choice now is to put this back to the people? I've, uh, as I've said, I've made my position clear on that. Can I just say to the Right Honourable Gentleman that I think it is a little difficult for many of us in this House to hear him week after week stand up and say that uh, the UK should stay within the, uh, in the European Union, when Scottish independence would have meant taking Scotland out of the European yeah. Union. A whisky advert which features a man jumping off a cliff has been banned. The Advertising Standards Authority said the ad by McAllen promoted risk-taking behaviour. McAllen said it didn't believe it was irresponsible, but would take the authority's comments on board. An investigation has been launched after it emerged that a flight from Kirkwall to Edinburgh took off without air traffic control clearance. The incident last Friday involving a Logan airplane comes amid industrial action by some airport staff due to a pay dispute. Airport operator Hyal said correct safety procedures had been followed. A new route has been unveiled for a major cycling event which will return to Aberdeen for a third year. The OVO Energy Tour Series sees elite cyclists start and finish a circuit on Broad Street outside Marshall College. The event takes place on the 16th of May. Cycling is definitely uh, on the up and locally I think there's a lot more um, you know, popularity about it and I think it's, it's good to have an event like this to just show that we're not all just uh, annoying traffic holding up people, you know, it's, uh, it's, it can be a fun, a fun uh, atmosphere and a good race too and it's good for young guys to see it, see it happening on their doorstep, you know. I think it's become the, the, arguably the best tour series that we, we've ever done or certainly do anywhere at the moment in the UK. Um, the work that Scottish Cycling, Event Scotland and of course the City Council put in, you know, they get the whole community behind the event so it's really important for us that on the day it's not just an elite men and elite women's races. We want to see kids on bikes, businessmen on bikes, amateur cyclists right throughout the day. Now here's Sean with the weather. Bringing you sunshine. TUI sponsors STV Weather. Good afternoon for many of us. It's another gorgeous day with plenty of blue skies. Again, we've got that little bit of a chill in the air along the east coast thanks to that easterly breeze. Highest temperatures once again, as has been the case for quite a few days now in the west, 10 to 12 degrees Celsius. We've got thicker cloud running into the north of Lewis, into the very far north of the mainland and Orkney. And that cloud here will be thick enough to give us some drizzly outbreaks of rain. And as you can see into tonight, drifts a wee bit further south and east into Murray and also Aberdeenshire. Clearer skies across southern parts, so still in Perth could be a little touch of frost. Then tomorrow, generally more cloud around, but still brightest in the west, showers in the northeast. Bringing you sunshine. TUI sponsors STV Weather. That's all for now. Norman will be here with the STV News at 6. Have a good afternoon. Goodbye.